in the blink of an eye. What is up you guys? It's me. I hope you're having a wonderful start to this new year. Today I decided to make a healthy recipes video. These are my top five breakfast ideas for you to try. They are super delicious, nutritious, and easy. So I really hope you give them a try and incorporate them in your daily lives. Eating healthy does not have to be boring. It can be totally exciting. I really, really hope you guys like this video. So let's get started. So starting off with our eggs and sweet potato hash, we're gonna peel our sweet potatoes, chop them up into little cubes so they cook evenly, and we're gonna drizzle some olive oil, some salt and pepper, some garlic powder, cumin powder, whatever you like. And you wanna give this a good massage with your hands and you're gonna put them in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we're going to cook some eggs and you guys know the drill. You can definitely cook the sweet potato hash ahead of time and keep it in your fridge so you can use them whenever you need. The sweet potatoes are so so good. The cumin powder makes it taste amazing so I definitely recommend making a big batch of these. Next up is our avocado egg white salad toast. You're going to need some egg whites, some green onion, some avocados, Greek yogurt, salt and pepper, some lime juice, and of course some whole wheat toast. We're going to start by opening up our ripe avocado and scooping out the meat. Then we're going to add in our cooked egg whites, some Greek yogurt, some green onion. We're going to squeeze half of a lime in there, put some salt and pepper on top, and give it a good mix. After we've toasted our bread, we're going to scoop out our egg white salad on top and spread it evenly onto each slice and we're going to finish this off with some freshly cracked black pepper. Yummy! Next up is a banana nut overnight oats and this is so good you guys, you need to try it. So we're going to need some light maple syrup, some peanut butter, some oats, a banana, some almond milk, and of course some cinnamon. And I tried to use some pumpkin pie spice which turned out so good. So we're going to be pouring in half a cup of oats and half a cup of almond milk. So pretty much using equal parts and then we're going to add in a smashed up banana. This makes it so sweet and delicious. Adding some cinnamon and some pumpkin pie spice, a light drizzle of maple syrup, and a spoon of peanut butter. Today I'm using a whipped chocolate peanut butter, which is pretty awesome. Then we're going to give this a good mix and place it in the fridge overnight or even a couple of hours. And you can top this off with some blueberries, some granola, a little bit more of the maple syrup. And this was so good, you guys. This was gone in like five minutes. No joke. I mean, my reaction tells it all. This one's for those of you who have a savory tooth and it's our breakfast panini. We're gonna start off with some spinach, some tomatoes, one cooked egg, you can leave the yolks off if you like it that way, some onion, a slice of cheese, you can totally use fat free, some light cream cheese, our delicious sriracha, and of course some whole wheat toast. I like to spread a light layer of cream cheese onto my bread and then we're gonna layer on our fresh green spinach. Place a slice of tomato on top, along with some onion and we're going to place our egg on top. We're going to top off this side of the sandwich with some sriracha and on the other side we're going to place our slice of cheese and then we are ready for grilling. Today I'm using a panini press. If you don't have one, don't worry. You can, can totally do this on the stove. And here we have our panini. It is so gorgeous to look at. I mean, just, just look at it. I'm going to cut this up in two because I don't know, that's just how I like to eat my sandwiches. It feels like I'm eating more food. I can't believe how beautiful this turned out. I'm really proud, really proud. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot wait to share this granola bar recipe with you. I learned this recipe from Sarah Lynn from here on YouTube, and this is pretty much the lazy version, and anyone can make it. So we're gonna start off with a cup of oats, some dates, some liquid honey, and you can pretty much use any kind of nuts you like. I'm using pecans, walnuts, some pumpkin seeds, some sliced almonds. You can even use some raisins if you have some. First off, we're going to blend our dates into a nice gooey paste. It should turn into a ball when you pulse it. After that, I'm going to pour in my oats, drizzle some honey, and for now, I'm only going to be throwing in the nuts that aren't already chopped up. 
give this a good mix. It does turn into a little forearm workout, but stick with it. Then we're going to pulse this mixture for not too long. It turns into this delicious mixture that I can eat all on its own. Then it is time to add our nuts of choice, and I'm going to sprinkle in the desired amount. And then it is time to use our hands and really get in there because you're not going to get it with a spoon. Oh, and don't forget to take a blade out, please. Using a parchment lined dish, we're going to scoop our mixture in there and make sure you press this down as hard as you can because we really need this mixture to stick. Then we're going to cover this up and place this in the freezer for about 20 to 30 minutes until it hardens up completely. Oh, I'm obsessed with these bars. I love this part when I got to cut them up into medium sized pieces and trust me, your mom will love them, your dad will love them, your dog will love them, everybody that you know will love them and they are so, so good. You guys need to try this. You need to. This one. Please. Do it. Now. <laughs> Hope you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it so make sure you subscribe because we'll be posting a more lunch ideas dinner or my tips and tricks to stay healthy and to stay lean subscribe I hope you have a great day guys best of luck in your 2016 goals I will see you guys in my next video Bye.